Hey everybody, this is the largest, most powerful diode laser that we have tested so far on this channel. Check this out. what is going on welcome back to the channel on today's video we have the laser tree k1 max here an 800 by 600 millimeter footprint diode laser that has three lasers in one it's a 20 watt 40 watt and 60 watt laser which is ridiculously powerful for a diode laser what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and test it out we're going to do a test cut on some really thick pine here that i have this is an old cutting board that i actually purchased from walmart uh, we're going to do an actual cut test on this and i believe it's going to cut through this in one pass. The next test we're gonna do is this three quarter inch MDF. We're gonna go ahead and do a project for my wife that she's requesting. I'm really hoping that this will be able to power through this MDF. Now it's probably not gonna take one pass. It might take three or four, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. All right, now I already have it set up here and I've already done one test cut off camera that you saw at the very beginning and it did absolutely flawless with the 20 watt diode. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's back it up a bit to the unboxing and assembly. So you can see exactly what comes in the box and how this thing gets assembled. Let's get to it. guys, now that we went ahead and we got this thing put together, I'm just going to tell you right now that this was absolutely the easiest laser to put together. Everything was just basically four or five screws on each side and it was ready to go. Now for my desk, this is actually way too big. So what I had to do is down here, I had to put in some two by fours to screw them in just so that I had enough room for this machine to kind of sit up here and it's still hanging on by the edge just because how big this thing is. It's 800 millimeters by 600 millimeters. That's the working space. It's actually bigger than that. So make sure, actually what we're going to do is let's go ahead and grab a tape measure and we'll measure this footprint out. That way, if you're trying to build a custom desk or a bench for this, you'll know the dimensions that you need. So the minimum 
width you're gonna need is 39 inches across. Now that's not gonna give you any extra for your power supply or anything like that. So if you wanna add a little bit to have all that stuff you know, sitting on, then make it a little bit bigger. Now the depth that you're gonna need is, I would say just to be safe, 36 inches. Now where there is good, there's always something not so good. And I'm gonna have to talk about that real quick. So the honeycomb that they do send you, which is nice that they send you a honeycomb, is actually really small. Look at this little tiny honeycomb that they send you. For such a big machine, I really wish they would send something, uh, even if it was like foldable, that you can use that would be a little bit more for this machine. Now I know it is hard with shipping and boxing and all that stuff, so you do have to take that into account, but for the sheer fact that this is literally a 350 by 350 millimeter honeycomb bed, it's actually kind of small. So that's the only downfall really so far that I see, but I guess you can't, uh, can't win them all. They did give me some test materials to cut with. It is three mil plywood and you have a toaster on here as well as a little business card. And then somewhere down here is a dog tag, but we're not gonna go ahead and use any of this right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do a test cut with this right here. So I'm gonna go over to Lightburn to create a test cut. Hopefully we'll do like maybe four or five by four or five different cuts and then test this out and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and get that in right now. All right guys, so we made it over to Lightburn and what I did was I created a material test generator that Lightburn offers. So let me bring you over here and I'm gonna show you. All right guys, so what I did was I came over here and I titled it 60 watt, 14 millimeter pine. I have a five by five box count. We're gonna start off with 100 millimeters a minute and we're gonna end at 500 millimeters a minute. Each little box is gonna be 14 millimeters by 14 millimeters. So I'm gonna show you a preview of what it's gonna look like. And you can see right here, it's gonna start off at 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 millimeters a minute intervals. And then it's gonna slowly go up to the power of 80, 85, 90, 95, and 100. I'm not gonna actually cut this out. I'm just gonna leave it on the actual piece itself. So let's go over to the machine and let's go ahead and get this started and see how it does. Okay, let's come over here and frame this. All right guys, check it out. That is the 14 millimeter pine single pass cuts. And let me tell you something, it just sliced right through it. It almost made it, some of it actually burnt really crazily on the back and it almost made it at 300 millimeters a minute. Now you're not gonna get a lot of details out of this, I don't think, uh, just for the sheer fact that it probably could potentially burn the back. You could see right there, it just just kind of fried the back of that uh, cutting board right there. But uh, yeah, there it is. So what we have our power set is at 400 millimeters a minute, 90% power, and we're gonna do three passes on this MDF. Now again, it's three quarter inch, so we'll see how that does. If anything doesn't drop through, I'll just go ahead and I won't move anything, and we'll just do one more pass. So hopefully we can get this done in three passes and see what happens, because essentially uh, this will basically just be a pit puzzle. So let's go ahead and send this to the machine. Let's do a quick framing on it and see how this thing does at three passes. I think. We are good to frame. All right, I think we're perfect. Let's go ahead and send it and see what happens.
All right guys, sorry for the quick cut in, but I made a critical error on uh, this cut right here and it stopped midway and that was strictly due to my fault. I'm gonna turn around the camera and I'm gonna show you what happened and it has everything to do with wire management. About three quarters of the way through the cut, it just stopped and I couldn't figure out what was going on until I noticed something. Let me show you. So there's a lot of loose wires over here and this power cord that was running from here to all of my stuff back here got in the way of the little e-stop right here. What happened was this cord kind of moved and went over in this area and when it did that, the machine was moving back and forth on the y-axis and what happened was this cord hit that e-stop and that stopped the machine three quarters of the way through and I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure out what was going on with it and what was happening. So I basically turned everything off and I thought it was just something to do with the machine. Unfortunately, it wasn't. It was this power cord got in the way. So what happened was this cut unfortunately got ruined three quarters of the way through. If you could check this out, I did a cross cut section on the corner off camera and the laser on the three passes went three quarters of the way through of the three quarter MDF. I probably would have had to done one more pass on this just to make this work. But with that being said, I only have a piece of half inch MDF. I don't have any more three quarter inch MDF to do this project and my wife says it's okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna resume this on a half inch piece of MDF. We're gonna do the same settings. I'm gonna basically do one pass at a time, let it finish the whole project, kind of do the design. Then I'm gonna come back and do another pass. And if I need to do it one more time, I'm gonna just set it for one more pass. So I'm gonna kind of do each pass manually. And I'm also gonna bring my fume extractor that I have sitting over there because MDF stinks really bad. And I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully kind of reduce that smell a little bit and get that done. So let's go ahead and get this uh, started. Here we go. Alright guys, that is it. That is the video for the Laser Tree K60 Max. This thing is an absolute beast and game changer for the workshop over here. This is single pass pine, almost three quarters of an inch. Now I guarantee you within three quarters of an inch, I can slice it in one pass on the 60 watt setting. Also over here, I have the little Boston Terrier test cuts that I did at the very beginning. This was using the 20 watt diode laser and it went through absolutely perfectly with no issues whatsoever. And then finally sitting over here on the bed, I have the puzzle piece that my uh, wife wanted, which is the half inch MDF. And unfortunately I couldn't do it on the three quarter inch MDF because I kind of messed that up. Uh, that was my critical error on the e-stop as you saw earlier, but I went ahead and did this with two passes. Now I actually did a third pass just to be safe. Now the file had some nodes that weren't connecting. So there are some spots that didn't cut all the way through and that's only because of the actual cut file. When I used Inkscape, I did a center line trace and some of those nodes were just off by a little bit. So they didn't actually cut all the way through, but that's okay, that's the backside. And I'll go ahead and pop these out, but you can see right Right here that is the half inch now there is some charring watch this I'm gonna show you just like that there is some charring on these that we're gonna have to wipe off each one but that's okay because what happens is we wipe that off and then these each get painted and she creates a really cool little puzzle like art piece on these which is really awesome but it actually cut through with no problem on two passes I did that third pass just to be safe and I could tell that it went all the way through with no problem this thing is an absolute monster. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description below. If you're interested to this machine, go ahead and check out those links as well. It's actually on sale right now at the time of the video. So I can't really give you an exact price, but make sure you check out lasertree.com and check out this machine. Now they do have an actual bigger machine. This is the K1 Max. They have a K1 Max Plus, I believe, which is actually even larger. It's like a thousand millimeters by 1300 millimeters. So it's almost like a four foot by four foot machine that you can actually cut 
uh, full four foot um, pieces of wood on this, which is an absolute game changer. I don't have the room for it at the moment, but this, what I'm going to do is kick it off to the side. I'm going to mount it on a wall over here and I will be able to do large projects going forward. Yeah, that's it. All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a like. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, hit that big black bell button. That way you get notified of all of my newest videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today, but until the next video, make sure y'all do one thing. Stay awesome. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.